Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week we're going to create this circular stretch effect. It's very, very easy in Affinity Photo and very, very quick to do. So as usual, let's get started. First of all, we'll come over here to the model that we have this week. Again, this photo is from Unsplash and I will link it below in case you want to follow along. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to come to our selection tool and we're going to make a selection of the model here. So just a quick selection all the way around, get all that hair in as well. And I'm just going to resize my brush to get in the smaller areas using my left and right bracket keys. Okay, once we've made our selection, we'll come up here to the refine box on the toolbar here and hit refine. And with a nice big brush, we'll just brush over those areas that we want a better selection. Once we're happy with our selection, we'll come over here to the refine selection pop-up box. Again, down to output on the pop-down box, we're gonna just go new layer and apply. That's gonna give us a new layer without the background. By default, when you do that, it turns the background off and we'll just turn it back on again now. So once we've got these two layers here, we're gonna make sure that we're clicked on the background layer here. We'll come over here to our marquee tool and we're gonna make a rectangular selection here on the model. And we're gonna copy and paste this selection by hitting Command C and Command V and it'll put that selection on its own layer. We'll come over here to our move tool and we'll come and we'll stretch that all the way across the canvas. Command D to remove the marching ants. We're gonna come back over here to our background layer, again to our marquee tool, and we're gonna take another selection. And again, Command C and Command V, paste that selection on its own layer. Over back again to the move tool. We're gonna to stretch that across as well, all the way across the canvas. Command D to move those marching ants back to the background layer. We're gonna re repeat this process seven times. So let's do that. Each time you come back to do the selection, make sure you are on the background layer. Over to the marquee tool and take your square selection. Command C and Command V up to the move tool. And again, stretch that across the canvas all the way across. Okay, Command D to remove the marching ants. So we'll do this, we'll get about seven layers here. Okay, I've got five layers here so far, but I'm actually gonna add another couple of colors. So I'm gonna come over here to the rectangular toolbar and I'm gonna click on here and I'm just gonna draw a square out here and I'm gonna leave it blue. I'm actually gonna copy and paste that layer, Command C, Command V, and I'm gonna get my move tool and I'm gonna move one of them up the top. I'm gonna to change that to a red to give it a little bit more color in here. Okay, once we've got our seven layers, you can do some more if you like, but I think seven layers works out pretty well. I'm gonna click on the top layer, all the way down to the bottom layer that we created. I'm gonna hold my shift key down, and I'm just going to select all of those layers. Now I wanna group all these layers together, so I'm just gonna hit Command G on the keyboard, and it'll put those layers in a group. Okay, make sure we're clicked on the group here, and then we're gonna come over here to our filters. We're gonna go down to distort, and the one we want is rectangular to polar. So we're going to click on that, and it's gonna put all those selections into a circle, and we've got that here over here now. So what I'm gonna do is just move this just behind her head there, this one just behind the model's knee, and stretch it out a little bit here, and now that we've done that, just behind there, I'm going to still stay clicked on this layer and I'm going to add a layer mask. I'm going to click on the layer. I'm going to get my paintbrush tool. I'm going to make sure I'm painting in black. Opacity, flow and hardness all at 100% is okay. I'm going to come over here to the model and I'm just going to paint in black. Make my paintbrush a bit bigger and I'm just going to paint these areas here. Okay. There we have it, the circular stretch effect in Affinity Photo, very, very easy. We can do one more step, another optional step if you want to. Click on the top layer here, click on this layer. We can group both of those layers together and then we can copy all of that with a Command J. Clicking on the bottom one here, we can come over here to Arrange 
and we can hit flick vertical. We can grab our move tool and we can just move that down about like that. Just click off that and have a look. We can then change the opacity a little bit and the blend mode. I quite like the linear, linear light here might just drop the opacity a little bit more. And there we go, guys, we've got the circular stretch effect in Affinity Photo. How easy was that? Very, very quick to do, and it looks really, really good. As usual, guys, if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.